We should have been doing this the last 14 years. Sam Elliott? Oh, yes. It was only a matter of time. Oh, we're just mustache. <laughs> what the heck? No. Not Sam Elliott without a mustache. I've never seen him oh, without a mustache. God. <laughs> Hi folks, welcome on back to you, me, and the TV, and You know what would have been cooler? If you would have just gone with six shots. I feel like that was justified. Since we're in just season six, instead of 60 shots. I shot six with each gun. No, more than that. Count them. Count them. All right. Well, uh, what's going on? What's new and justified? Uh, we don't know because it's the beginning of season. Well, that's right. Six. We're on the final season of Justified. Season Woo! six. What happened at the end of season five? Do you remember? Somebody died. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> I can't remember any of their names. Art, Art got shot. almost died. Art almost died. Yeah. yeah. All the the Dewey Crow's family members have they're gone. They're done with. I think Daryl and Danny are dead. Dewey's arrested. Danny's definitely dead. We watched him die. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Daryl died too. He got shot in the twice. Yeah, I think Daryl died too. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, and now Rachel's in charge of. Uh, Rachel's in charge. The department. And she's like, we're going after Boyd. Oh, boy. So, yeah. It's going to come to a head between Raylan and Boyd. Think they'll be able to take down Boyd? Yeah. Should we jump in and find out how? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe, come hang out with us for Justified, the final season. Season six. And check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to our videos. One comment, access to polls, subs, quick watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Let's watch Justified, season six. Let's do it. Previously on Justified. After Boyd Crowder? We're going after him under the Rico statute. We're gonna bury him. And you want me to help? Before you go? Yeah. That's right. Raylan's leaving Kentucky. Yeah, uh, he's got like a couple weeks. He got a transfer. Do you think they're gonna use De Dewey as a CI? Oh, God. Dewey is, seems like a pretty unreliable well, witness her at this as point. A CI. Paperwork's been He's filed, like, just a matter of routine approvals. It's I'll be happening. There. I'll move in a few weeks. I'll be there in a few weeks, and then they're like, hey, are you going to help us with this last case? Is this going to take less than a few weeks? She's cute. Oh, Raylan. What in the world is worth missing this for? Part of me thinks he, when it comes down to busting Boyd, he's, when it like comes to that time, he's not going to be able to do it, because yeah. he has like the feeling such this weird, yeah. weird dichotomy with him, right? Why is he doing it in Mexico? Bourbon. Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have Kentucky bourbon in Mexico. Mm. What it is you want? <sighs> Never really developed a taste for tequila. Kind of hard to understand how you make a drink out of something like that. Sharp, inhospitable. Same reason I never understood the fascination with the artichoke. <laughs> it makes no difference to me if you hijack the truck hoping to find some drugs. Instead, got a wagon load of dead gringos. <laughs> Shit. Now, Ranger Badge. Ranger Badge, that means something. They bang it out of a 1948 Mexican silver coin. <laughs> I'll take that worthless star and get out of my city. He's not very friendly, is he? He only respects the Texas Rangers because of the uh, old Texas-Mexico <laughs> feuds. Oh, he's not done with him. No. Ooh, that hurt. I told you I'd be in touch. <laughs> What is he up to? <laughs> armadillos are so cute. No, that's not a word I would use to describe an armadillo. What? 
It's just like a giant rodent with armor. It's a giant rat with armor. Are they rodents? I don't know, but they definitely look like a giant rat. I think they're cute. Not cute. Welcome to the United States of America, Chief. Around these parts, this door means something. <laughs> we smuggled them out of Mexico. Kidnapping. Raylan's kind of bending the rules here, huh? <laughs> bending them? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Sellers of Catan there? I didn't, I didn't see. Is he a Catan kind of guy? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it can't look like it. You want to smoke that shit? Do it outside my truck. He's got a new right hand man. Yeah, and he's a uh, bank robbing, remember? One more. No, oh, he's up on the count. I believe that banking institutions are a greatest threat to our liberties and standing armies. Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Jeez. Is he just casing the place, you think? Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Can I please get some help? I'll be fine. Thank you, Mr. Cratter. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Setting a bomb in here. I think that other guy was a uh, part of his crew. Yeah. What was he spraying? I don't know. Something tells me. No, I have no idea. Cleaning his fingerprints? No. He no. sprayed like the... I get... No, I don't know. Why would he spray a camera? That'd be obvious. Something to do with the mechanisms or something. Resting them? Maybe. Maybe so they're easy to break open or something. Seems like she just doesn't want Boyd around, so she has nothing to give him, right? Nothing to rat out. What's she doing, Vaca? Uh, it's the uh, code for info. Mm. Or is that actually Bills? Uh. This beer. He gave me a witness who was with Boyd when Johnny Crowder and the rest were killed. We get his testimony. Boyd's looking at murder one. Make that the centerpiece of your Rico case. Who's the witness? Dewey Crow. <laughs> you. Dewey Crow is being released. That's unfortunate. Charges didn't stick. His confession to killing Messer? He said he was just joking. He also says that he took the heroin just to keep it off the streets. You know, doing his civic duty. <laughs> so the joking <laughs> paid off? A couple months back, tacitly admitting harassment by the Marshal Service in the person of... <laughs> Initially, my boss is not going to let me, let you, violate Dewey Crow's civil rights. So... What are you going to do? <laughs> There's a restraining order between Dewey and Raylan. Same goddamn outfit he's been wearing for the last the whole season. <laughs> Six seasons? God, he must smell horrible. They probably washed it for him while he was I'm in there. I'm sure not. It looks clean. Thank you, Jesus. Don't miss God, Dewey. Christ, Raylan! How's it going, amigo? We ain't amigos. Oh, so you speak a little Spanish. That must have come in handy down in Mexico. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. How am I supposed to read that? It's in Mexican. Spanish. And then it's off to a Mexican jail. And we both know that's a world away from titties and tequila. <laughs> Smart. What I need is a six-dollar blowjob. <laughs> That piece of paper was probably just Raylan's official papers from yeah, the federal It had nothing to do with Dewey. Goddamn government secret. 
So we're not going to get a season of Dewey Train to run at Whorehouse? Or a $6 blowjob. Ew, that's weird. Somebody's got to be living there if their undies are on the line. Oh, it's Turtle Dog! It survived the fire. That's good fortune. You want something, Dewey? On me. Ooh, hey, what you got in mind? Um, <laughs> it's two pancakes and two eggs with either two slices of bacon or a couple of links. He was hoping for a sexual favor. Any chance I could maybe jam one last bone in there? <laughs> Didn't I knock him out? Well, look at you. They're dating now. I found it, and then I found you. It's my sign. Good, but thank you. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> what does that mean to Dewey? What is... I, you can't follow Dewey's train of thought. No. Ava, there's something we need to talk about. Tamerly's wait. Won't take but a minute. She's like, don't talk to me. The home that we're fixing up, and you want to leave? If we stay in this ghost town, together or otherwise, how long you think it's going to be before we turn into ghosts ourselves? Are you saying that like we ain't dead already? Yeah, yeah Ava just doesn't want to hear anything that she yeah, can tell me. exactly. I don't think I can do this. What you need to do is contact me. Particularly when I reach out again and again. Honestly, with how often Raylan comes to Harlan and sees Ava in the past, I don't think Boyd would think a second of it. Setting up a command post at Arlo's. You need anything, I'm that close. So he's going to be living at his dad's house for the season? They said they'd be quick. Well, call him and tell him to get back here. And to bring me something. I'm so hungry I could eat the ass out of a low-flying duck. No. <laughs> Why are you still standing there like that? Found him outside. Do we? <laughs> Do we? I didn't leave you on good terms. That is correct. Robbing me at gunpoint was not on good terms. <laughs> and I'm sorry about that, boy. But. Look out his turtle. I found this. I just want him back in, Boyd. I just want you to trust me again. Boy thinks he's a comfort informer. Doesn't have a th lick of worry about Ava, but Dewey? Dewey just wants to belong somewhere. He wants to have a purpose. Yeah. Is a friend of yours? Never seen him before in my life. Someone wants to buy the land. Where are you from? Maryland. Wait works hereabouts. Man comes on to another. He's familiar. Yeah. You don't strike me as a sentimental type. I'm gonna go with bad market. But I am prepared to pay your full asking price. <laughs> I feel like Rand's a little sentimental about that house because of the, the graves that are there. What do you say, friend? Isn't it time to sell? It is time to sell. But not to you. <laughs> well, you have second thoughts. You'll have no trouble finding me. You have no idea. He's not gonna sell to a carpetbagger. He does, he'd sell with somebody local. Who the fuck is that guy? You mean the actor? No, just the character. Have we he's seen just, him no, before? he's just popping up. You understand? Shit. <laughs> Uncle! Oh, U.S. Marshals. <laughs> How are we going to get away with this with the feds up our ass? We needed Cyrus. Take ball, side pocket. Don't need Cyrus, you got Dewey. I got a job that needs doing. Anything you say, boy. Anything. They really are giving Dewey enough rope to hang himself with. Yeah. Crowder crime. You want to follow Crowder or Crow? I hear Crow. Let's go after Dewey. What is he transporting, though? You know, he once told me he worked at Disney World dressed as Goofy in a water skiing show. Well, some guys just peak too early. 
I don't think Dewey Crow could water ski in a goofy outfit. For sure not. And I'm going to keep on driving so I can save the state of Kentucky and the government of the United States of America another $300,000 for harassment, negligence, and general malfeasance. Nelgagents? <laughs> they just let him go. Oh, no, they're shooting at him. That truck's got two back tires, so he should be all right. He'll be a little loosey-goosey, but... Oh, shit. You think that was part of the plane? No. You all right, Dewey? Really? <laughs> 1,000 feet. I'm pretty sure that's just a figure of speech. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Never seen that bag before in my life. Dewey, you're in a world of shit. First, you're facing extradition to Mexico. Is this a distraction? Oh, maybe. Open the bag. I showed you the first time. Where is it? Where is what? I don't know, but whatever it is, it ain't here. Which bank did you say you saw board in? First River. Oh, Dewey's not happy that he was just bait. He knows. I picked the wrong people, person to follow today. All right, everybody, keep your head down, your mouth shut. It's all be over in a minute. Nobody gets hurt. Ooh, black light. Let's see the ones that were touched most recently. I'm trying to see which ones have been touched. Touched. Whose deposit box is it? I don't know. Taking it, they didn't get back in time. I bet they missed him, yeah. Yeah, let's follow Dewey. Yeah, good call, Gutterson. <laughs> it was his decision, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm prone to believe you. The problem is, if you didn't know about it, then you're of no use to us. In which case, you're going back to prison. I knew I would shoot him. I'd had enough. And I just had to see it through. He made him dinner, whole spread, his favorites, if I recall. He was delighted. He had no sense of your intention. He never saw it coming. I see where Ellen's going with this. So yeah, Boyd will believe you, too. Mm -hmm. He already does. Mm -hmm. I know you can do this. So you're damn well better. I guess she is obligated to uh, try Provide to provide them with himself, something. Yeah. In terms of life. That sucks. Doesn't she get paid too as a competent informer? Don't they get paid? What the hell, what? Just passports what and journals. Paperwork? You don't usually put money in a. Safety deposit box. The yeah. bank just holds on to your money, remember? <laughs> they have a different vault, vault for that. Yeah. That was just the job probably Wynn Duffy gave him, right? Hmm. I imagine. So the ledgers are probably useful for something, don't yeah. you think? Or they were testing him to see if he could do the job, and hmm. then they're going to give him a better job now. May not be again. Don't know why I'm even interested, except out of sheer damn boredom. Sheer. <laughs> <laughs> Big headache. Make the world a better place for a little while. Yeah, you could kill Boyd. Then you'd be headed down to Florida without a star and a gun. And you might be seeing your daughter through the glass on visitation days at the penitentiary. What if it was justified? Do the job as long as you do. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way. Yeah. Art can attest to that. What the hell happened to your face? Raylan broke my jaw. Why? I don't know why. I'm tired of it. You my friend, boy? Mm -hmm. Why can't I be like that again, boy? Those were simple days. Good days. Weren't they? 
They were good days. They were. Just longing for the good old days. Dude, I'm going to tell you something in confidence. It's all coming to an end. It wasn't Catan, it's Roy Tan. <laughs> totally different. <laughs> I just saw the tan. Mm. Bitter times do it crow. But they also saw a future. Now you look closely, you can see it in their eyes. Go on, take a look. She about to kill him? Yep. Think he was a, a rat for the Federals? I think I couldn't trust him anymore. Dang it. You wait 20 minutes after I leave, then you roll him up in a carpet and you make him disappear. So long, Dewey Crow. Yep. You think Ava survives the season? I don't know. Well, that's fucking creepy. Does he suspect her now, though? I don't it know. almost feels like Boyd believed everything about Dewey, but he knew he couldn't trust him. Yeah. Just because of all the shit Dewey's gotten himself into. Dewey's just too dumb, right? Like, he's just right. too dumb. He doesn't know what he... Yeah, what, doing, what he, he could do to himself. Yeah. yeah. And, uh... Also, when you're living in the past like that, there's nothing that's going to make him happy at this point. Yeah. Right. So I He's think is putting a dog out of the yeah, kind misery. of putting a lame dog out of its misery yeah. in a way, right? Then, Which is a fucked up thing to say. But Boyd's face there at the end was like, if it's not Dewey, maybe it's Ava, because yeah. they were both just incarcerated and then released. Right. And he's like, the feds are at. He knows the feds are following him. So who, well, who would be close knows to him did be Raylan's following him, but Raylan's followed him a lot. Yeah. You know? But I just feel like he's on he's sensing something. I'm sure. He's got a tail. Yeah. So yeah. maybe Raylan's uh talk to Ava about I know you can do this job would have worked if Dewey didn't show up to be like, I just wanna be friends again and like make Raylan or Boyd I think it changed Boyd a little bit. About who he needs to trust. I don't know. Right. I don't know. That's just my thinking. It was a good uh, opening episode to the season, yeah. for sure. It was very similar to uh, season one's first episode. Mm -hmm. Other than the fact that Boyd got shot at the end of that one. But, right. like, the opening of season one kind of started off like this ended with Boyd killing somebody he couldn't trust in the car, right? On the bridge. Oh, yeah, okay. After, and then Bing grabbing. So, yeah. Kind of bring it full circle here. A little bit. Should we jump into episode two? Hey, you ready for some more? Let's do it. Let's watch more Justified. Here we go. Oh, she's going to start drinking just to yeah. get the courage to be lovey-dovey with Boyd again. Get closer. Easy, girl. It's just me. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Uh, well, I, I couldn't sleep. And thought I'd come and finish up those railings, but I, I couldn't find any paint. Dewey was supposed to drop some off. That's a good answer, boy. Well, I'm happy it pleases you. I guess I'll be on my way. He's feeding her intel, asking about Dewey to make it seem like he doesn't know where Dewey's at. Mm, I don't know. He's on to her. Or maybe not. Maybe he's hiding something or mm -hmm. planting stuff. Still sleep with her. Should she be walking by now? Oh, good. So that is your kid. I was worried that was some random internet baby. Yeah. <laughs> you could tell him that we're working the case. We'll have something soon. That's the truth. If you stop asking me questions and let us get on the road. All right. Spewing <laughs> sunshine, offering a ride in his Mercedes. Feels like maybe I'm chatting with the devil himself. Oh, yeah. Part this burdensome homestead. Live the rest of your days free as newborn babes. Oh, I was right. You are the devil. No, man. <laughs> he told me. I said I will increase my offer 20%. Turning us down then would be an act of insanity. Then they're insane. We'll have the Givens property soon enough. 
And yours, too. How that comes to pass depends entirely on you. There ain't no version of this story that ends with us selling this house to some peacock. Peacock? I try to change your lives, and you call me a peacock. A goddamn peacock. What does this guy want? I don't know, but I hate him. <laughs> I think that's the point. Uh, it's not like the coal company from, like, season two, right? Trying to get the, the land to... I mean, they were trying to buy Arlo's land for that. Calhoun. No, no. It feels like a very yellow stody situation. Yeah. You were supposed to find out where Calhoun's keeping his cash and steal it, not raid his filing cabinet. There you go. Goddamn time. He has it. Is that what I'm supposed to tell the three pissed off rednecks who work for me? He's just carrying it in his briefcase. This might be his life raft. You better hope it's worth my cut of $3 million. I think it's worth a shot. Whose money are they trying to find? Calhoun's. That guy. Really? Right? Now, Calhoun was the guy that was working for that guy. Is it that guy, though? Why would he... He didn't seem local to have some safety deposit in Harlem, but man. I knew it was only a matter of time before you walked through my door. Calhoun? Tired of waiting. No. Oh. That's Calhoun. He works for that gross guy. The devil. Party. All right, look, as big a boner as all this real estate talk has given me, this is not actually why. We're... There he is. That's who? The interested party. The devil. You just let me do all the talk and we'll close the deal right here, right He now. means he works for him as in he... Yeah. Yeah. He's a realtor. Yeah. yeah. Any notion of a suspect? You have any notion of how an investigation works? I don't know what I've done seen on the TV. Ooh, Ava's got the... She's bringing the info. Mm -hmm. The files. At which point we grab the guy, pull his teeth out till he tells us what we want to know, and then probably kill him. <laughs> Just kidding, oh. Captain. <laughs> we'll definitely kill him. Who's that guy working for? But he's been with us since we left Calhoun's. All right, what do you want to do? You want to flapjack him? You want to short bus him? You want a special <laughs> attention him? Any of those even things? I'm mostly just making shit up. <laughs> That's right. I told you they ain't doing nothing but driving. Hold on, hold on. This is a huge guy in a little car. Yeah. Oh. Shit. Found him. Call you back. Turn to your business officer. U.S. Marshal. Still none of your business. Let me get this straight, son. Where you're following me to is none of my business. That's how you see it? I'm not following you. <laughs> He's a giant. He's like seven feet tall. Are you saying you ain't following me like you don't know what I'm saying? Or are you just repeating this bullshit about you ain't been following me? <laughs> You're saying your name is Choo Choo? Since I was a kid, folks called me Choo Choo. Because you like trains. So when I hit you, it comes hard, it comes fast. Like a Choo Choo train. Ooh. You wanna try me? Nah. Not today, Choo Choo. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Is that legal? Probably not. No, forget all that shit. He's someone I want you to meet. He wants him to meet Choo Choo? Maybe. We should have been doing this the last 14 years. Sam Elliott? Oh, yes. It was only a matter of time. Oh, we're just mustache. <laughs> what the heck? No. Not Sam Elliott without a mustache. I've never seen him without oh, a mustache. God. It'd be lucky even more. It's because he doesn't move his upper lip. It looks so weird without a mustache. Oh. When has he never had a mustache? Didn't he have a mustache the whole the ranch run? Oh, yeah. He looks best in a mustache. It's like Tom Selleck without a mustache. Yeah. No thanks. It's like me without a mustache. No thanks. 
<laughs> what if it fell out? Just kidding. It, <laughs> mustaches don't just fall out. How are you going to take care of me, Avery? You never needed taken care of, Catherine. <laughs> he has no, I mean, like, no lip. It moves not at all. He needs the mustache. He's in the middle of a big landscape project, you know? It would be a real chore getting rid of him right now. Talk about Boyd. Mm-hmm. Well, what then? Take out an eye? An eye? One eye a guy can still see. Both eyes, maybe. That'd be a good start. Just hold there. I'll be by soon. Everything okay? <laughs> Who's calling Calhoun? The choo choo. Uh oh. Ah. He's got a temper. Do you mind if I get this? Oh, for f if you mind, I, I won't if you don't want me to. Let's hurry up. <laughs> this is Calhoun. You got my text, I presume. Oh, hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you and me gonna have a problem that ain't easily solved, you dig? Great, I I'll see you there. Yeah, okay, so Boyd has no clue about Ava, because he's trying to sell this ledger back. Ava's got the ledger, and she's gonna give it to... Mm, he's gonna be pissed when he goes to look for the ledger. Yeah, it's not there. Uh, uh, Judy, June, Gladys, uh, J uh, J uh, George Kipling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sammy Swamps with Saints. <laughs> Samsonite! <laughs> Slappy. Yeah, nobody's picking you up, man. Not with that mug. Except for Tim. Hey, boss. Where are you headed? <laughs> These docks, were they difficult to find? I don't know. Not that hard. What are you getting at? He's going to ask her to put them back. Do you think he's got any reason to suspect you? Well, shit, Raiden, I wouldn't have thought so 30 seconds ago. If he sat them up for me to take and I took them, then what the hell are we gonna do now? Put them back? Just put them back. Pronto. He's gonna want them after 8 o'clock. Get me something, Ava. Risk your life and then put them back. She should have just, like, taken pictures of them. That's what I was just about to say. Yeah. Get this, he was in the sandbox same time as we were. Tim, Gutterson, Rangers. <laughs> he looks familiar. Has he been on the show before? No. He's in Ted TV show. Uh -huh. He's the dad. That's right. I should have choked his cowboy ass out, left him for dead on the side of the road, but uh, I figured someone drives by and sees I'd have to kill them. You know, and somebody else drives by and sees and I'd have to kill You know, another car drives by and sees. <laughs> I mean, because if you... He's cool. I already told him all this shit anyway. <laughs> I'm doing something stupid. You gotta watch what you say in front of other people. Watch what I say in front of... You just told him you were going to kill a marshal. Keep disrespecting me. You're going to ride the train. I'm all aboard, Choo Choo. Come on. All right. Come on, ride the train. And ride it. I don't know what you said. Why, why would you see him? Just, you know, around the office and all. See, I still work for Uncle Sam. I'm just with the marshals now. <laughs> and could you ask him to bring back my car? Absolutely. <laughs> that was great. This is what season five missed. was more Tim. Because yeah. Tim was awesome in season four. Yeah. I like Tim. Oh, I don't believe I've met Mrs. Schreier. Ew, gross. Ew, gross. Not you, Calhoun. You sit your ass right there. Only the truth will set you free. <laughs> so he started writing down everything he could remember, like account numbers and amounts to protect himself. It's the blackmail ledger, which now he's being blackmailed for. But if the bad guys find out that it exists, they're going to kill him. What was the blackmail they want? I don't know. That's why they wanted to rob the... This blackmailer, he got a long-winded, peculiar way of speaking. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh shit, she did not get home soon enough. Is he gonna kill her? 
After you left this morning, I went back to the shed. I put everything back the way I like it. I was just about done when I found that shit you stashed. She can save this. All the trouble to put it here. Risk me getting caught and sent back to prison. Oh, it must be off important to you. Where are they now, Ava? In the truck, on the seat. You take them and you get them the hell off my property. She's doing a good job. Yeah. She's doing a very good job. Flip the back on him. Oh, that was fast thinking. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> he was mad because the ledger was gone. She had to come out hot. Yeah, and she to, did. To flip the script Ooh. on him. I'm gonna use that tactic. No, on me? Yeah. Next time you're like mad about something, I'm gonna come in <laughs> hot getting even madder at you. You can't do that because you don't let me be mad at you. <laughs> I'm it's because you're to, always I'm flipping the, one, the script on me. I'm the one that has to flip the script. I, I get mad. It. You're like, you can't be mad. No, let me be Somebody mad. Somebody has to be level headed here. I hardly ever get mad. Let me be mad. You get mad quite frequently, actually. Not directed, not at me, but it gets it's, directed my direction. It's not mad. It's just frustrated. Yelling. Frust Ang frustration. Angrily about computer stuff, usually. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know about that. I'm just following my instincts. Kind of like how power slipping you a word. I just run with it. You see, Raylan, I've learned to think without arguing with myself. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll just come back tomorrow. Or you can give them to me if you want. Why not? Save me the trip. Does it change you? What's that? Having a child. They say it changes, man. You think that's true? Guess we'll see, won't we? What's that mean? Was he simply meaning like, are you more gun shy than you were before? Because now that you now mm -hmm. you have a kid. Now you know conversations with the police are not confidential, right? There's no law that says you can't share with me what they shared with you. Plus, he's saying something. A local boy, uh, uh, Boyd Crowder. Boyd Crowder. Apparently, he's done this type of thing before. Well, Joyce, that is just ever so helpful. I thank you kindly. Rain check on that omelet. Have a lovely evening. Well, the proper thing is to carry them inside for her. Right. She was scared shitless, though. Yeah. Well, can you imagine? Somebody Dark. approaches you in the middle of the night. Yeah. As you're trying to go home, enter your I mean, home. You would have pulled on him. Damn straight up, would have. Oh, the turtle dog. Uh, his necklace. Oh. It's got Dewey's blood on it. Oh, they're gonna get Boyd on the murder of Dewey Crow. Or him, at least. No, nope, no, nope, maybe not. Oh, put him in the bar. Nobody's gonna oh, notice boy. him on that thing. I'm Ava. Oh, shit. Right. Your boy's girl. Hmm? Is he here? In the back. Let me check, make sure it's okay. Oh, she's got a ulterior motive. Reason I came by, boy, is I don't like where we left things off earlier. I know you robbed that bank. And I know you didn't get what you wanted. But one of those deeds wasn't like the other. Did you notice that? One of those deeds was to Pizza Portal, the restaurant downtown. You remember? That building used to be. Holy shit. Is that where he's hiding his money? We gonna drink it to the corners, baby! Woo! Oh, <laughs> well, she's back in. Or is he just gonna kill her right now? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Boyd has no clue about Ava. She just found out where he's hiding the money. That's why Boyd's excited. Did Pizza Portal used to be a bank, you think? 
No, it's just a piece of property that he owns that nobody really knows about, obviously. So he's hiding stuff there. On the there, there was lots of deeds to lots of pieces of land. Why would Pizza Portal be the one that sticks out there? it was different than the other deeds. No, oh, she said something about, do you remember what Pizza Portal used to be? See what happens if you call me Peacock? Uh oh. They're about to kill those old folks. Ah, choo choo. Here you go. <laughs> you under the impression he was following you. Just like some folks under the impression you boys are here just to sell pizzas. Oh, this is Pizza Portal. Yes, where where have you been? My guess is it's an old bank. What do you think? He works for someone. My guess is he don't want to talk about it. Good night, kitten. No, I haven't been in this building since I was a kid. Yeah. Used to be a bank. See, they're catching us up now. That statement. Oh, I did. Just oh, now, they're catching us up. I just now they're catching us the up. Bars on some of the. They're catching us up. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know that place used to be a bank? Uh, and that though it was Pizza Portal. Well, I saw that it was Pizza Portal on the doorway when uh, oh, Tim earlier. was in there with what's his butt earlier, because I am observant like that. And then it just kind of makes sense that if they're shocked that the money is not anywhere. Where would he be so keeping it, his money? I mean, it is. I, I was right. It's being stored at Pizza Portal because it used to be <laughs> yes, old bank. So there's probably yes, a vault right, there. Your rationale for why it was being stored there was like, wait, I, why do you think the money is being stored there? Because you had no idea. Because it was, it a was bank. different than the other places. Oh, it's just a totally different place. Of course, the other places are probably land that like around Arlo's place. Oh, golly, place. it's painful to have to have to educate you sometimes. Well, who is he working for? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> is it Win Duffy and what's her name? Or are they working for a rival? I um, I imagine it's somebody else, right? Like Leo just, Thompson? I don't know. Or somebody connected to Leo? No. Um They've kind of dried that well, right? Leo it'd be Leo Tonin. Leo Tonin, that's how I meant. And I don't know. It's either some other sort of like it I feel like the mob boss thing has kind of been overplayed at this point, so yeah. I don't know. Why would anyone else want to be buying up land we uh, willy the, nilly? The coal company. Somebody from developing season two. Something. Yeah. I don't think they do coal again. But it could be that company trying to come back around a second time with a different strategy to try to get that land so they could blow the top of the mountain, right? Could be, I guess. Hmm. But well, I am intrigued. Whatever. The season has drawn me in already. It's much better than yeah. the previous so far. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of already back on its yeah. good graces. Mm -hmm. So, except for they killed Dewey. Mm. I guess you can only do so much dumb shit. It's true. We still have. We have a new dumbass. Yeah. Choo choo. We still have Dickie Bennett somewhere out there in the in He's jail. In jail, yeah. I don't you think we'll know. see him. He might pop up. I doubt it. Well, uh, Boyd has no clue. I was thinking after the end of last episode when he was looking at Ava in bed, I was like, uh, he might be thinking she's not. She sold that so well. And she's then, putting it right back on him. How yeah. dare you bring documents to my farm? Typical woman. <laughs> Love it. Flipping the script. Mm, pretty great. Yeah. Yeah, Boyd's, he's completely infatuated with her again. It's because she gave him just enough to be like. I love you. It was more I than like, again. I want to be on your side. You got to tell me what to do. And I was like, I want to be on your side. Did you not realize that one of those deeds is to yeah. <laughs> do a bank? Yeah. Right? Yeah. If she hadn't have said that, I think he would have, he, that wouldn't have been good for her. But because yeah. she was like, Pizza Pike or whatever it's called. Pizza Portal. Pizza Portal. It used to be a bank. Oh, they just caught us up on yeah. that. Old time bank. Speed up those processing, sir. Well, I didn't see the pizza portal sign on the door. So I, I noticed him eating pizza. Choo Choo was eating pizza when that was just the, right there. Yeah, because they weren't eating pizza they before. They must be a pizza it looked, portal. It looked just like a bar before that. Right. So. Boy. What? Just saying. Sorry, I was too busy laughing slow. at Tim and his antics of getting all that information out of Choo Choo without even 
having to try. Yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> the choo choo story like, about, like, what if I shot the marshal and somebody drove around? I'd, I'd have, have to shoot, shoot them. them. <laughs> and then if somebody else drove up, I'd have to shoot them. <laughs> it's just like an endless wave of him <laughs> having to kill some yeah. people. That's what I'm saying. He's going to be the comic relief. Hopefully, yeah. we see a little bit of him. You always got to have a dumb henchman. Got to love it. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see uh, next week. What goes down with this pizza portal? Yeah. And what should people comment on after these first two episodes of season six? You enjoying it so far? Who's your favorite new character? Yeah, there you go. Without spoiling why. Unless it's info from the first two episodes, like Choo Choo. You like how dumb Choo Choo is. For and sure. he's huge. Mm-hmm. And he's driving a little car. That was the best part. Yeah. yeah. It's like, that guy is huge. Giant man in a tiny car. Yeah, it's like little Chino from Dexter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Let us know your favorite new character from season six. Totally. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week. And your favorite pizza topic. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for two more episodes. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for our early access to our videos. One coming. Your access to polls. Up to Big Watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.